case you've missed how we created the array of these windows, then you need to look at the 3D array command. If you're wanting how to know how we mirrored this wall here, look at the preceding command called 3D mirror. Let's look at the 3, 3D rotate. First thing I'm going to do is zoom in along this lines here. I want to look very closely at this door. Now I'm going to go up to the word modify, 3D operation, rotate 3D. I'm going to come down here to the bottom edge, select my door, touch the right mouse button, and now it's going to ask me, very similar to the 3D mirror command, do I want to rotate this thing along an axis of an object, the last view X, Y, Z axis. Now, think of, think of it for a moment. If you stretch your hand out, your left hand out, your left arm out, and extend your hand in such a fashion to where your thumb and your first finger are the only two fingers pointing out, rotate your hand so it's identical to the UCS icon in the lower left-hand corner, and then your arm will naturally follow up. Your arm is going to be the positive Z. If we want to rotate this door open, then you know that we need to rotate it along the Z axis. And if you know that the Z axis is along this plane here, then we also note that if we want to rotate, positive angle rotates it to the inside, negative angle will rotate it to the outside. So let's go ahead and type in the Z for Z axis. When it says the point, I'm going to say I want the midpoint on the bottom edge of this door, on the inside. The, two, the wall and the door share a common midpoint. When it says rotation angle, why don't you type in a minus 60. Do an enter. And notice what happened. We actually rotated our door to be opened from the outside. So it's got an, an outside swing. Let's do an undo, try it again. Again, modify, 3D operations, rotate 3D. Select your door, right mouse button, we're going to type in the Z axis. We're going to say find the midpoint, is our pivot point right in here. Pick it, when it says rotation angle, I want you to go ahead and type in 60 this time. Do an enter. And notice that the door swing went to the inside. So depending on what you're trying to do, you need to put in a positive or negative angle. Now, let's do one last undo. Try this door one more time. Go back to Modify, 3D Operations, Rotate 3D. Let's select the door, hit the right mouse button, and take a look. We can rotate by the axis of an object or the last two by view or by the last rotation, or last plane, or last object we actually created. If we say we want to rotate, uh, say, along the x-axis, let's type in x. Here's your x. You're going to rotate it in this direction. So I'm going to say, let's find the end point of this wall. Click it one time. And I'm going to say, let's rotate this thing 45 degrees. Do an enter. I don't know if you saw this, but it actually rotated this door 45 degrees. Let's do not do again. So, basically what the 3D uh, mirror command will do, and the 3D array command will do, as well as the 3D rotate, it allows you to rotate now in three different directions or three different axes.